All right, picking up where we left off, um, let's talk about percentiles and quartiles. Okay, so a percentile is the percent of items that are less than a particular data item. So when I showed you that z-score table in the first video uh, for 12.4, what I was showing you was actually percentiles. So these are the percentage of items below the data item, below, 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 less than, okay, less than, all right? So what happens if I know that um, um, I end up with a 90%, um, not 90%, a 90th percentile, 90th percentile. That tells me that 90% of the items are below, and it tells me that 10% are above. How did I get the 10%? Well, I took, so if I know that 90% are over here, to figure out what's over here, I have to take 100% and subtract 90%, and that tells me 10% then would be above, okay? So if I want percent below, I just take the percentile. If I need the percent above, I take 100 minus the percentile. Quartiles are related, um, but they are um, every 25%. So um, if we talk about the first quartile, that would be the first 25% of data items or the 20 doing that sorry the 25th um, percentile okay um, so quartile one um, is equivalent to the 25th percentile then remember quarters we divide it into four pieces so then the next quarter of the data items okay but remember we want the items below the items below so yes, we went up another 25%, but that means we're at the 50th percentile. So we've already talked about these 25%, now we have 25% more, and altogether we're at the 50th percentile. So the second quartile is the same thing as the 50th percentile. Continuing, we have the third quartile, um, which, is uh, the 75th percentile. So 75% of all data items will fall below the third quartile. Using a z-score in a table, you can find the percentage of data items that are less than any data item in a normal distribution. Less than, the z-score table is less than, it gives us the percentile. In a normal distribution, the mean, median, mode all have corresponding z-scores of zero and are the 50th percentile. That means 50% of the data items are greater than or equal to the mean, median, and mode, and 50% of the data items are less than the mean, median, and mode. All right, margins of error. So when they do a poll, um, they take a sample. They don't ask everybody because it's just too many people to ask. Um, so they're trying to predict um, using a, a sample what's going to happen with the entire population. The problem with that is that you could be wrong and there is what's called a margin of error. Okay, margin of error. So that means we're, we're pretty confident that what we say is going to be the truth, but th there is a possibility for error. So what we know, or the way we figure out um, the margin of error, we need to go one divided by the square root of the sample size, and it lies within. Within means either above or below. So it could be um, one over the square root of the sample size above, 
what we just said, or it could be one over the square root of n below what we just said, and uh, times 100 percent. All right, so sample size of uh, 1,172 children ages 6 through 14. It says 17% of the children said getting bossed around is a bad thing about being a kid. All right, so what we're going to do is um, we take one and we're going to divide by the square root of the sample size so that we asked um, 1172. And remember, it's either going to be in the positive direction or below. So we need the plus or minus. So 1 divided by the square root. And that gives me approximately 2.9. Percent either above or below for the margin of error. So um, we could be correct with 17% um, within this almost 3% margin of error. So it could be 3% above the 17% or it could be 3% below the 17%. Write a statement about the, about the percentage of children who feel that getting bossed around is a bad thing about being a kid. So remember, 2.9% um, above, 2.9% below. So we are going to do 2.9% um, uh, above, which means we have to add it on. So 2.9% above, we have to add it on. And 2.9% below, we have to subtract it off. So that means between 14.1% 14, 14 and 19.9% .9 of children think that getting bossed around is a bad thing. And um, we are 95% confident that that is the case. That's uh, between 14 and 19.9% of uh, kids think that getting bossed around is a bad thing. Um, there are other kinds of distributions. It doesn't have to be a normal distribution. Um, a lot of distributions are normal, but they are not always. Um, this graph represents the population distribution of weekly earnings in the United States. There is no upper limit on weekly earnings. Um, a relatively few people with very high weekly incomes pull the mean income to a greater uh, to a value greater than the median. Um, we had that example where we were talking about, I think they were workers and we had to calculate the mean, but one was the supervisor and he made it a whole bunch more than the other guys. And that, as you remember, it pulled the mean higher than the median. Um, the most frequent income, the mode occurs towards the low end of the data items. Um, this is called a skewed distribution because a large number of data items are piled at one end or the other with a tail at the end. And the side of the tail is um, which direction we say it's skewed, okay? So here we have this little tail over here. We say it is um, skewed to the right. To be skewed to the left, we would have a little bitty tail here and then go up like that okay so the tail end is the direction in which um, we say it's skewed for some reason I could never remember that I don't know why but hopefully you guys will remember that better than I will All right 12.4